Rub up your engines! Now this ridge line was bought in January and it's got kind of a vibration, especially when he's turning it. Seems to come from the front left. We're gonna check that out and We'll just take a general look at the truck first. He likes it because he had a Jeep before this and the engine went out and he said it was a pile of crap. So he wasn't going to buy another Chrysler product. So he bought this. It's got this cool little sliding back on it. He loves that. He can hide his stuff in it. He doesn't particularly tow. He uses it to deliver pizza sometimes. I wouldn't call that towing, no. It's four wheel drive so he doesn't get stuck in the snow when he's in Connecticut. And yes. It does have this recall where they're supposed to check the frame. The construction, you can see everything's all welded together. And it's still in good shape. Kind of the muffler's rusty. And that all happens up north. Salt on the road corrodes them. But it's still in pretty solid shape. Now, if you know the history of this, these are really one of the world's first trucks that was front wheel drive. Now, this is front and rear because it drives all four. But many of them are just front wheel drive. And it's pretty much the same V6 engine they've been using for ages and these Hondas are good engines other than they have timing belts which you got to change every 100,000 miles because they didn't go to chains for some weird reason but be that as it may they're good engines and the transmission there is a decent transmission too he's having a problem when he's turning and getting vibrations so we'll put the brake on real tight we don't want it moving. Now he did have the CV axle replaced on the passenger side. We'll check out the driver's side. He had that one replaced on the passenger side. So let's check the driver's side. Well, it looks pretty good. We'll toil it around. Now it's not ripped, but as you can hear, the inner one is rather noisy. And he drives a bone, so the engine's not leaking anything, but it's making a little bit too much noise. Yeah, clacking. Now that, the inside ones are this. They just physically wear. They're ball and cage. They're ball bearings and they slide back and forth. And of course, when they're new, they fit perfectly fine. But as they age, just friction. Doesn't matter if there's grease in there, there's still some friction. The balls wear in the grooves. The balls wear a little too, but the grooves generally wear more than the ball because the balls are solid steel. So then you get a clacking and when you're turning with the strain of the engine on it, you're going to get some vibration because instead of the balls smoothly rolling back and forth, they're clacking around and you get a little vibration. We'll road test it to make sure. Now he's got 76,000 miles on. He paid about 20 grand for it three quarters of a year ago. And that's pretty much what things are going for these days. Realize the average new car lists at 45 and they go for a lot more than that. They go over MSRP and used vehicles have followed it up too. But that's not that bad for the prices that I've seen lately. It is a Honda. I've seen these things go three, four hundred thousand miles. They're pretty good trucks for what they are. They're not competing with Ford and Ram and GM. They're their own style. They're a Honda medium sized pickup truck. They used to call them small, but I mean, I call that medium. I don't call it small anymore. I can already hear a little clacking. Now we'll do a real hard turn. Yep, I can definitely hear it. Clunk, clunk. We're gonna take it for a spin anyways, but I can tell you exactly, that's that joint. It's the inner joint, not the outer. But you don't mess with fixing any of that stuff. You just replace the whole half shafts, inner and outer. Get brand new ones. You can get rebuilt ones if you want, but the brand new ones that are made in China work perfectly fine. I put them on my own vehicles. 10 years later, they're still working fine. So you don't have to go for outrageously expensive Honda parts at the dealer. You can get axles for these things in many different places. Now you notice you don't really hear it when we're going fast. There's a reason for that. Fast, there's a lot of torque. Things push against the edge on the joints and they don't make that much noise. When you're going slow when you're turning, they have to flex up and down, especially as you're going over bumps. Then the little ball bearings kind of hit the grooves and you get the vibration and the little clacking noise. It's not that big of a deal. He doesn't have to do it right away, but he already did the right front. Might as well as do the left front. Realize, just because the boot is still on and the grease hasn't leaked out yet, it doesn't mean that they're not worn inside. You heard that clacking noise when I was turning it. It shouldn't make that much noise. They'll always make a little bit of noise, but that had too much play and made too much noise. Well, like I said, I had a customer with one of these in Houston. He drove it another five years. Eventually, I could hear him coming down the street, six blocks down the street, clacking when he was turning. He didn't care. He sold it used, and it was still going that way. But if you don't like the noise, you can just replace the entire ass shaft. You can make some more noise. Especially when it goes slower. It was bad. It didn't make the noise. <laughs> we'll try going around circles up here. There it is. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah, and that's the joint. 
as the bearings go donk donk they go up and down the grooves because the grooves are worn now you can get about 19 miles a gallon this and this jeep was getting more like 12 miles a gallon plus it was a jeep and it broke all the time and this thing doesn't now he's decided he didn't like the noise even though it's not that physically worn the boots not ripped the grease hasn't leaked out yet to show that it's completely shot honda wants 349 for theirs but the labor is only nine tenths of an hour it is not a hard job he's gonna try to do it himself watching my videos it's not that hard to do but don't let guys rip you off. Let's say you have no interest in ever putting one on yourself. It isn't a hard job. You just have to unbolt stuff, bolt stuff in. It's not rocket science by any stretch of the imagination. But you can see, you can save a small fortune. Because he called up the Honda dealer for the whole job. They wanted 695 bucks plus. They probably try to sell them the kitchen sink while they're at it. That's just how those companies go. I mean, they just want to sell you stuff that you don't actually need. And to give you a kind of a comparable between American and Japanese vehicles, he bought this because he had a Jeep that he said was a giant pile of crap. And he did say, oh, I was thinking about an F-150, but I, I don't know, I'm gonna try Japanese. And he also was considering Toyota. The problem with that was, this says 76,000 miles, he paid 20 grand, all right? If he was gonna pay 20 grand for a Toyota Tundra, it probably would have had 300,000 miles on it. This was a better idea, really. You know, the Toyotas are the best made, but you pay so much money for them. That's where something like this, if you're looking used, don't poo-poo the Hondas. Now, this isn't gonna tow like a Tundra. Tundra, I've seen them tow 20,000 pounds a big iron but he doesn't tow he glitters pizzas with it sometimes they don't weigh that much you know <laughs> even a deep dish chicago pizza doesn't weigh that much you might turn this into a first choice vehicle because you can get them at a better price with lower mileage and they're still excellent trucks this one's all-wheel drive if you don't need all-wheel drive you get even better gas mileage with just plain front wheel drive which is what these are yeah i know you're thinking a pickup truck with front wheel drive well that was honda's idea to make a honda pickup realize that those new ford mavericks those pickup trucks are front wheel drive too they're just like these they're either front wheel drive or they have all four wheel drive they don't make rear wheel drive they only make front wheel or all four wheel just like this. So Ford kind of copied their idea. I like the Ford Maverick that's made in Mexico. This Honda Pilot was made in Alabama. So if you're one of those people who has to buy American, don't buy the Ford Mavericks made in Mexico. It's made in Alabama. <laughs> the world's changing. You got to follow along with it. And here's some bonus questions and answers. MWJ says, my check engine lights on my 95 Honda Civic. It codes the top dead center sensor. It's 214,000 miles. No one knows where the sensor is, how to replace it. Hell, okay, well, it's an easy fix. It's built into your distributor. You gotta replace the whole distributor as a unit. Now, there are brand new and remanufactured ones available at any discount auto parts store. Buy the one that comes with a lifetime warranty just to make sure if it goes out again, you get another one free. That part is built into the distributor. So you replace the whole distributor. Not hard to do. I got a video, just type in Gotti Kilmer replace distributor on car video. It's very easy to take out. Mark it with paint where it's set. So when you put the new one in, you put it the same marks and then just start it up and drive away. But it's built into the distributor. You can't replace just the part. You got to replace the whole distributor. Jay Longo says, I'm looking at the first car. Is it worth buying a 2021 Ford Raptor F-150? I don't want to know if it's a good first car for somebody just out of college. All right. Well, how crazy are you? The problem with the Raptors are they're extremely fast. And if you're young and crazy, you might wrap it around a telephone pole. I had a customer once and he bought one for his son for high school graduation. I said, you sure you want to buy him that thing? He's going to wrap it around a telephone pole. He bought it and guess what his son did? He wrapped it around a telephone pole. He wasn't hurt or anything. They got airbags and everything. And so his kid wasn't hurt. But if you're a conservative driver, sure. But if you're wild, maybe that's too much power. You're straight out of college. Generally, that means you're young. I don't know. Maybe you're a mature student. You're 35. But take your arrest regular kid and you're 21, 22, right? Look at the insurance rates that Ford Raptor. If you're 20 something male, woof, you're going to pay so much money in car insurance, make your head spin. You might want something with a little bit less power. It's going to have a lot cheaper car insurance. They're good vehicles, but keep all that in mind before you shell out your money and then keep paying a ton for insurance. And you might decide from a little bit less powerful so you won't wrap it around a tree and you won't be paying a fortune. And also, look at the gas mods of the Raptor. They're gas hogs. You're going to pay a lot of money for gasoline. The price is only going to go up as time goes on. So you might think twice about that decision. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.